It's time. Unleash the beast! Let's see if he got better. Silas was the best pick, probably, but... Silas is not that exciting to make me not play Diablo. <laughs> Let's hope this game doesn't Diablo. Very good one, Twitch chat. I need to write that down in my dictionary. I'm down to bed, red lights. Okay, it's either Acolyte of Cthulhu or Dex Wabi here. Not sure if you still want to play Agro Curve. I feel like you win anyways. I'll skip the Tavern free. Yes! Heady rules, fake you for the sub. It's all right. I'm sure the next dance will be your Again, I don't think I need to play Agro Curve now. Getting a 5-5 on turn 4 should be good enough to win against most players. Uh, the best like elementals, Max and Quillbore. What is the strategy? The strategy is win the first big fight, get uh, the treasures, and then use them to win the second big fight. Welcome back, party door. Again, for all the people that just tuned in, Diablo got slightly buffed. I said I will not play it in its previous form. In the current form, I'm okay to play it. I feel like two free drops, plus a Swabby, plus a 5-5 five five should win most fights. I want to just play normally and then let the hero power just assist me a little bit. Krag also went to free, so I'm gonna win this fight as well. The buff is the minion gets better, that's it. It's a 5 5 instead of a 3 3, a 10 10 instead of a, a 6 6, and a 20 20 instead of a 12 12. That is the buff. I don't think it's a big buff. I would have rather them give Divine Shield or Immune. Or something more crazy, but it's okay. I don't want to complain. I'll buy Katkana Tig and Arm, just raw strength. So I have a 5 4, a 4 4, a 5 5, and a 2 2. Why not go for double arm? Because I don't want to build a town comp with no mechs in the lobby. I'd rather play demons, for which Katkana Tig is pretty good. I bought an arm because it's more stats than the Ali Cat, but not because I like arm a lot. If anything, I don't like arm. George was very strong. I wonder if I actually beat anybody. I probably beat Sky Captain. Hmm, I beat some people. Our guests demand entertainment. Only two prizes. Oh my god. Again, let's not rely on prizes too much. There it is. A potential triple. My spell will keep them in place. That's definitely a five. And then we see from there what we want to do. I was hoping for like six prizes. Maybe you want to play normal curve and not power level. But I think you should still stick to like normal gameplay. I think winning the second set of fights is way more important. And if I play aggro curve on a hero that has nothing to do with aggro curve, I think that's just gonna hold me back. I don't know, I'm kind of fine with how I played here. Truth be told. Another one bites the arcade. George is strong. Light Fang Void Lord Morozond. It's not a Light Fang game. Void Lord is good both with Katra and with the arm. Now the question is, how do I win from here if I don't have a win condition? Beasts are in, so we could also think of making Trickster bigger. And going for a Macau. Couple of months ago, this early Light Fang would have been game over. I know, right? I think I need to push to 5. In most cases. The reason is Mama Bear and Urzul. 
are viable win conditions. Whereas on 4, I'm just sitting for Impatient Doomsayer and Ness Matron. Could also sit for Juggler, but playing Juggler is not exactly my dream. Dude, I wanna dodge this George, he's so freaking annoying. George is such an annoying hero. You heard me, George, you're freaking annoying, dude. Okay. The crowd adores you. The thing is, Sneed is pretty powerful. If I go up, I'll be weak. But if I stay, I'm just guaranteed to be weak. Let's stay. Champion is not mediocre, it's utterly mediocre, but maybe it somehow works. It's not late for champion, it's turn 9, it's 9 gold turn 7. It allows me to level up next turn. Wow, holy moly. This guy has the comb that I was striving to get. Oh my god, this is disgusting, dude. What this guy is doing here, oh my god. That's so nasty, dude. So incredibly nasty. He is air quotations feeding me, but not really. He's more feeding himself. I mean, as long as I don't die too badly this fight, Wait, I could even win this fight, depending on what he gets from that. But yeah, depending on the result of this fight, we could do some things. I guess champion carries this, nice. Yeah, I killed his freaking Doomsayer, dude. That Doomsayer is annoying. He got so much value, this guy is gonna win the lobby now. He's gonna go for like, 2 or 3 6 drops. Sky Captain somehow died. We're fighting everybody and we have Katranati for it. Okay, you, you go cut her not here. And you level. Perfect. Perfect. Big final, triple and Zulul. Now you play the secret and you play Wind Fury on this because you want to make it you want to make sure that it dies. I want that to die. Uh, I could put champion faster. Yeah, champion faster is good. Like champion is gonna get buffed, and then you're gonna. You're th I'd rather attack with like a 13-13 champion, than attack with like a void walker, and then I want my void walkers to get attacked so that the arm of the empire is actually providing some strength. So who gets the boot? Arm gets the boot for sure. You want Urzul? Maybe Trickster gets the boot. I don't think Trickster is good enough. Actually, Trickster does not get the boot. Trickster is sometimes a keep if you get uh, to discover Felbat, then Trickster becomes very viable. I'm not sure if Big Fernal is good because I probably don't have time for it. But Big Fernal has one thing that he does for us. He's a demon. I am pretty strong, I think I mopped the floor with this guy. Not sure if champion is a kick is a keep, yeah. Is it a keep or is it a kick? Let's see how I do against the lobby, I'm actually curious. Do I smack the entire lobby? Oh! Whoa, let's go, baby! Killing the lobby! Man's not hot! 
Never hot. And that's a triple. Here's your reward. Welcome to the party, minion. Is that Hamlul? Plus one? I do like Hamluling. But I like to Hamul on six. Then you pick this and you just kick wait. Please do not should have picked my ex Nami. Thank you so much for the understanding in advance, please chat. I know that all of you are absolutely reasonable people and are never gonna become results oriented because of a thing or another. New recruits have arrived. Do I wanna kill the panda? Delightful. Give reborn, give attack, secret. I mean I still have this secret. I give six six for the next combat. If I feel like I'm in danger, then I'll go for some other strats. But right now, I don't feel like I need to do anything. Just Hodlu. Hodlu is the best strategy. Again, champion is not forever. I, I'm considering to kick it. I should win because or tie because of demon. Not terrible. This guy is very strong. So proceed with caution. You have to go this. I don't want to risk this. I truly don't, Chad. It's an unnecessary risk. I'm at 22 health. I don't think this player is going to kill me. Let's just play like this. I could play the secret just in case I lose. The next fight is in two turns and I want to kill the entire lobby. Thank you, Suvlaki, for the 10 months. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what that he's gonna win the lobby. I'm aware of that. Your strategy is working. Keep it up. I have really good demons. Like, I might have to kick the champion. Yeah, the champion is getting the boot. It's growing, but it's not growing as much as the demon is growing. He has an interesting combo, but not the most amazing one. Yo, Mr. Bacon! Thank you for the raid! The people are about to witness a great moment in history. I'm about to win a game with Diablo. So again, for everybody tuning in, Diablo got buffed. Just slightly. The minion he gets during the fight is bigger. Just like my appreciation for uh, the raid today. I killed two players on turn 8. And I'm gonna kill the entire lobby on 12. Just keep watching, I'm gonna kill everybody in two turns. There's one fight so people can relax a little bit. And then I'm gonna murder this lobby, okay? I'm done playing around. I mean, I don't particularly wanna kick a 26-26 for a 4-6. I'm just accumulating some duplicates. I really like that Blizzard hotfix Diablo. It's not like a big buff, it's a small one and they probably want to see how it goes and maybe like buff it more in the future, we don't know. I'm happy they did something so quickly. 
A lot of people were doubters. And they were like, Blizzard is never gonna fix it. I'm holding my spells for next turn when I'm fighting the entire lobby. That's like the strategy. You want to like hold your spells for the fights against everybody. To maximize the chance of killing the lobby. Why don't you kick the 10-6? The 10 6 is, is incredibly good because he gives uh, the health to everybody. It's one of the best minions to have on Felbat, actually. I know it's a one drop, but it's a very, very good and powerful minion. This guy has a very annoying board, and I wish I had gold for him. Let's see how it goes. I hope he doesn't pop my secrets. But he might. Man, he also has random Warlocks with, like, nothing to do there. Yeah, I don't think Gus Coiler content is gonna beat this. Gone are the days in which you could get poisonous from Gas Coiler. Okay, chat, are you ready? I am about to murder the entire lobby! Do I try to triple the Void Lord, or is that pointless? It's probably pointless. Imp Mama is good, but I don't want to kick Champion. That's a good triple. Welcome to the party, minion. Second fell bat. Oh! I think I want to go Mama and cut something. I'll cut Champion. I'm gonna be able to scale Mama more than the Champion is scaled right now. Now we roll Eat the Whole Tavern. Who do we buff? Who do we buff? Reborn. 6-6. Six, six. And Hooves. I think I want to Reborn the Mama. And give 6-6 six, six to this guy. And put mama later. Oh my god, baby! This is great, this is great, this is too good. This is way too good. It seems your plans are falling into place. Watch as I'm about to murder this entire lobby. Keep in mind, I get the 2020 now. We are not playing around. You only get the 2020 when you have space for it, right? Like now? Wait, where is my 2020? Oh. I don't know what he was waiting for. Mama was big, but she died in one hit. Never lucky, baby rage. It's fine though, are we killing the entire lobby? Type in chat, how many players are we killing? One down? In the direct fight? Wait, where's my prize? Excuse me? I... I won with the minion alive. I literally won my fight with the 2020 alive. Boo! Come on, Blizzard, fix it. Baby Rage. I'll buy a gold for the George. It's not the strongest, but it sure knows how to party. I'll buy a gold for the George. I think I'll need it against his Murlocs. Against his pesky Murlocs. I mean, not getting prizes here is game-breaking. Like, I was literally in a spot to win the lobby, and now I might not win the lobby. I had two guaranteed prizes from this guy. Probably two prizes from this guy that I keep beat now. I beat this guy as well, so maybe two more potential prizes. 
And I also beat this guy, so maybe two more potential prizes. Like, I literally won every single fight I had. I got zero prizes for winning every single fight I had. Like, Diablo is... I wouldn't say insane right now, but he's playable. But if you have this game-breaking bug of not getting your prizes, then what's the point of it? What is the point of it? Thank you, Red Lights, for the gifted sub. I for sure won against this guy with a 2020. This guy cannot even kill my towns. He definitely didn't kill my 2020s. Dude, I literally lost like six prizes. Game winning position. And I would have had six more prizes. Maybe I can still win from here, but. Okay. It's 1v1. Us against the beast player. I'm also a beast. With my current build. Like, I'm not even sure what to do. Like, do I stop here because it's a good minion? It's a good tavern to eat? That's a pretty good tavern to eat. I'll just stop. Hold. Hold the line. Tip free gold to Medivh. I don't think I need Zap. But maybe Zap is still good. Pretty bad minion, so let's roll. You are unstoppable. I humble because generally you get very good minions when you humble. Yeah, Zap is a good call here. I don't think we needed Zap, I think we win anyways. Seems like an easy win for the Lord of Terror. Still bugged. Like, imagine how much better Diablo would be if it would actually work properly. And yes, I know that in the in my in some other fights, like against Nosdormu, maybe I was so strong I couldn't spawn the 2020. But in my fight, I spawned it and I didn't get the prizes. Yes. So I think I missed out on still four prizes, maybe six. Whoa! That's a screen shot. Thank you, Luxor, for the 14 months. L let me message my editor.